people on Facebook. I've got my dogs and I got my supplies and I'm ready to work on stage three of training with you. What I've got in here is I've got my salt and pepper shakers, Q-tips in one side, and I've got about half as much food in there this time. So I'm gonna go through a couple trials of reducing the amount of food as long as the dog is being successful until he's working um, just on odor. And we'll see how far we get tonight. Search. He wants to play. Good job. Yes. I'm just going to use a verbal marker because I could not get to my clicker fast enough. Yes. Good boy. Yes. He really wants to play. I've moved it and I've got about half as much food in there again. So it's about a quarter full of food. Let's see if you can't outfast me. Search! It's bad timing on my click. I clicked when you looked up. Good. I like to use clicker here because of the precision of getting a nose target. Put your foot's in there and it'll work. I'm to get his feet off there. Good oh boy. Let's go up. I've got a different box. Um, the reason is I'm switching just to the Q-tips. So I'm going to have no food in this one. I'm going to try to keep them clean. The reason I use this kind of box, by the way, is this is exactly what we would use in competition. So I've just got the um, Q-tips taped in the bottom there, and we're going to give it a go. Search. Good boy! Not too shabby! Good boy! I decided to try him off leash just to see if I can feel better. He's getting the hang of it now. Good boy! Oh, that was poor timing. We get a nose and not a foot. What I might do later is raise the boxes up on chairs so that he's not going to get a habit of getting his feet in there. Good boy. Let's go, good boy. Search. Good boy. Good boy. I decided to try him on a fresh box. So I've been running my other dog on the other ones first, and I was a little bit worried that he was queuing off of the saliva. But nope, that was no problem. Good job, buddy. Get your foot out of there. Okay. Good boy. Okay.